In this instruction video you will learn how to install your VP flow scope to perform a measurement of your compressed air consumption. We advise to also read the user manual. Please note that the VP flow scope is professional measurement equipment to be used by skilled compressed air technicians only. In this video we will help you from installation to measurement. We will show you the plug and play usage of the VP flow scope start kit. It is important to choose the right location for the installation of your VP flow scope. Think of a straight pipeline, condensation, vibrations, pressure and temperature conditions. For all installation guides, please check our user manual thoroughly. The start kit contains everything you need to start measuring right away. Determine the inner diameter of the pipe. The VP flow scope can be installed using a socket or hot tap saddle. Hot tap saddles can be installed on pressurized pipes. Hot tapping is work for trained technicians. It requires special equipment. This equipment is not delivered by VP instruments. After retracting the drill, close the ball valve. Some hot tap tools require a 3 quarter or 1 inch ball valve. In this case, you can use an adapter to reduce the thread to half an inch. Insert a compression fitting in the ball valve. Use Teflon tape or liquid sealant to seal the compression fitting. Keep the ball valve closed and insert the sensor module. Mount the safety line and secure it. Open the ball valve and gently push the VP flow scope in until it reaches the bottom of the pipe. Keep the VP flow scope in place and place a mark on the probe. Retract the probe by half the pipe diameter. Use a tape measure to check the distance between the mark and the top of the compression fitting. Now tighten the compression fitting. Mount the display on the sensor module. Make sure that it slides completely over the o-ring seal, then fix the screw on top. Align the VP flow scope with the flow direction. Tighten the compression fitting. Take the cable with the interface box and connect it to the VP flow scope. Connect the power supply. The display of the VP flow scope lights up and shows real time information. The VP flow scope needs to know the inner diameter to display volumetric flow values. Press menu and use the arrows to go to settings. Press enter and go to diameter in the menu. Press enter. Set the tube diameter. Use the enter escape buttons to move the cursor to the right or left and use the arrows to change the digit. When the diameter is set, press enter. The display will prompt settings saved. Leave the menu by pressing escape. Now there is only one more thing left to start recording the data. Press record and press enter to confirm. Now your VP flow scope is recording. You can pack your supplies and leave the VP flow scope to do its task. A blinking dot in the third line of the display shows that you are recording. The data logger contains 50,000 points. The default of the data logger is set at recording every 5 seconds. This is equivalent to measuring approximately 9 days. With the VP Studio software you can change these settings. When your measurement is finished, you can retrieve the data from the VP flow scope. You can hook up the VP flow scope to your computer on site and read out the data logger. However, we choose to remove the VP flow scope and read it out at the office. First stop recording. To stop recording, press escape and then enter to confirm. Disconnect the VP flow scope. Carefully open the compression fitting and gently retract the probe till the safety line tightens. Make sure that the VP flow scope probe is completely retracted and then close the ball valve. 
When the ball valve is completely closed, you can take off the safety line. Take the display off and remove the probe. Place the protection cap over the sensor and put everything back in the case. The VP flow scope can now be taken to the office for data analysis. The data log sessions can be read out with the VP Studio software. Connect the VP flow scope to your computer using the RS485 to USB converter and connect the power supply. After acquiring the data, it can be viewed in graphs and processed in a spreadsheet program. Detailed information on the software can be found in the user manual. Now your VP Flowscope is ready for the next air audit.